Now, the Football Association has charged Liverpool striker Luis Suarez with violent conduct after he bit Chelsea defender Branislav Ivanovic. The FA said in a statement, the FA has charged Liverpool forward Luis Suarez with violent conduct. The charge follows an incident with Chelsea's Branislav Ivanovic in yesterday's fixture at Old Anfield. It comes after these headlines were doing the rounds in the papers. Let's take a look. Yeah, come back down, yeah. Following the incident, Suarez had this apology. I've spoken to Ivanovic on the phone so I could apologize directly to him. For my unacceptable behavior, the club has fined me. I have asked the club to donate the money to the Hillsborough Family Support Group for the inconvenience I have created to the Liverpool fans and to Ivanovic." End quote. Where do we start from? The goals at Liverpool or the man they call Luis Suarez? Let's talk about the match itself. <laughs> Martin, you know, I'm sure you were watching the game yesterday. Yeah. A cracking spectacle, spectacle of a match. What do you think? Amazing, amazing game. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a Chelsea fan. I'm really, you know, my, my loyalties are, are with Arsenal, as <laughs> always been <laughs> for, <laughs> for, for the last 25 years. Or so. <laughs> but, um, I mean, Suarez is a fantastic player. He really is a top striker. But I think he's, he's over the years, he's rubbed people the wrong way. And, and the British media is kind of picking up now on every little thing he does. The goal he scored was amazing. The controversy can't go away because it's, it's got history with biting and, and you know things like that. You know, you really need to get kind of rid of in a sense. But of course, that goal came storage assisting him, so returning the favor for him. Initially, yeah, the first creating goal. four storage four in the storage. first half. No, yeah. absolutely, I entirely agree. But some people would feel that series should never been have never been on the pitch are the time it's called the goal. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's kind of a serious thing. It's not, it's an intended foul in a sense. It's not even a foul, it's an attack on a player, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's interesting the fact that you mentioned Suarez shouldn't have been on the pitch at the time when he scored the goal. The same argument could have been laid against the man himself, Storage, as well, because he went over the top to kick on um, the, the, the left back uh, from uh, Bertrand, 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 Bertrand. Bertrand. What do you think about right. Storage's yeah. performance? Look, especially challenges in football, challenges in football will always come. I mean, you want to know that uh, it's always often like that when a player leaves a club. It happened against Asna and the other guy and Sidwell. When a player leaves, he often wants to prove a point. That is the way I see it. But again, when you look at, you come down to the football itself, you want to give credit to the two managers. You know what Chelsea is capable of doing any day. You, the creative hub is within the three of them. Yesterday, particularly, Ramirez was up front. He was everywhere. So when you have the four of them very effective, you have Chelsea being in control. Again, the, 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 the vision and theories of uh, uh, Rogers is beginning to come to, uh, to, uh, to Liverpool. You're beginning to see quick passes. And you always want to believe that anytime you bring uh, Suarez and story together. So one of them is always free. They, but they link up very well they as well. They link very well. Suarez uh, is the creative hub. He is the, is the toughest of Liverpool. He finds, who he do, just he finds, finds his everywhere. way around, doesn't when he? When he does that, story is free. And you could see the reverse case. You give me the ball I score, I give you the ball you score again. But of course we did see a much more, if I can say, revived Liverpool in the second half mm. than we did in the first half, Martin, didn't we? They're playing a very, very attacking, very aggressive game in the second half. I think they took it to Chelsea and obviously it may have been the half-time talk by Rogers to really get the team up to speed. But I have seen over the last two weeks a different Liverpool. I think they've come into mould now. I think they're forming with the acquisition of Suarez and Sturridge the last two seasons. I think now they believe they're less reliant on, on, um, Steven on, on yeah. Steven Gerrard, which there were a few, you know, a few years, years ago because TV has had injuries and stuff like that. So I think they're playing a stronger game. They may be a lot stronger team next season as well. Adi Shakbe. Yep. I know we like to talk about the goals, but it was really overshadowed by Luis Suarez. By Luis Suarez, bite of Ivanovic. Yep. Idris, what was, what was he thinking? Doesn't this set a bad example, first of all, for football, that such a player already embroiled in controversy, yet again is in the headlines? 
I, I, I don't know how I will approach this. <laughs> I saw you with your head down. So, so I know that is this a is a man that thrives in controversy. You have to look that, take that. Some players thrive in controversy. Forget about their footballing skill. Their controversy is good for them. Again, I want to believe, I'm not holding brief for He's him. He hasn't been. I'm not, I'm not holding brief for him. I want to believe that he, he, was, he was anguished he was by the fact that the job he does on the field is energy. He was the one who gave the second goal away. And when the second goal was called... Yet the handball has the, crept the, up yeah. again. <laughs> when, <laughs> when the second goal was called, yeah. you could see, because the there was pain, a clip, the, the pain yeah. and the anguish in him. And, and at that point, he felt he he felt to nothing back. again will stop me from getting anything, irrespective of what I do. Yeah. But that is, that is the point that some people have, have, have labeled, you know, put on the table, especially one of the co people we're having a conversation with today. <laughs> the fact that Luis Suarez has this winning mentality at all costs, that he might do anything to win a match. You know, we've seen him dive, we've seen him hand, handle the ball at mm -hmm. the World Cup, and now Cheating. he's exactly yeah. so he's put himself in a position where. He has to win or at least save his team no matter but what. But there's he a does. difference between winning and crossing over to being a cannibal. <laughs> it's, it's, it really it's, is. It's, there it's, is. It's, it's, it's difficult to. to you, see, you, don't, you, don't, you don't argue for a bad case. Yes. This is a bad case for him, particularly with his history mm. of cannibalism, if I can put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, all the great players, as you've said, there, there's a fine line between winning. And cheating. I think it's more being competitive. I look, I look back to things, or people like Cantona, for example, or Roy Keane, they committed those very strong fouls because they wanted to win so badly. Yeah. But yeah, Luis Suarez needs to look back in the mirror, I think, <laughs> and look at where he plays the game. His passion for the game, the goals he scored for Liverpool, they can't do without him this season and next season as well. I mean, I don't take to. Yes, uh, but Graham's Brendan Rodgers comments. did say no player is bigger He's than Liverpool. To say that. Liverpool yeah. Football Club. Yeah. I think it's in the moment of the game, the passion. Yeah. I mean, I play the game, and everyone who plays the game knows at times the frustration, yeah, the absolutely. competitiveness, the passion of the game, the desire to win can take over. And maybe he's got a personality flaw. You know, that maybe. When <laughs> I think most would argue that he does have a personality flaw. But, but, but what really obvious here is that he has an anger problem. We have seen That's that why the PFA are sending him so to The management. only thing we could hold on to is an anger problem. It's not the first um, uh, footballer that will have it. It's not the first sportsman yeah. that will have it. Sportmen, sportmen have gone for different therapies. We've seen uh, the great golfer gone for his own it's not therapy. But, but in this case, off, in this case, is going to, my, my, my concern interest. is there. My that, concern you're is talking about Tiger Woods. That has nothing to do with him. No, no. In his we, we are, we are, we are, we are just looking at different what problems is, of different is, great players. Basically. Great players. All, 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 all professional, professional sports, they have flaws. Some of them. Well, I know they've got flaws. <laughs> Whoever it is, they've got flaws. We de Listen, let me tell you, one of the things that interests me, especially with Luis Suarez, is the fact that you can't talk about him being such, you know, a personality without talking about his footballing skills. Yeah. Personally, I believe he has been the best player by a mile. No in the doubt. Premier League in no the last doubt. That has they, they, no they, doubt. They, look at it this way. If you look at the aggregate opinion among the sport writers who are going to vote for the PFA Football of the Year, yeah. it's been divided for a while. Yeah. A good number of them wanted to go for the homegrown, which is Gary Bear. Yeah. A good number of them have said, look, look, this is our man, Suarez, irrespective of his controversies. But immediately after that event yesterday, he said, he no. said no, he will not get our vote. But that's the thing, though. English football comes not just with being professional on the pitch, it's being professional off it. Hence why Ryan Giggs is one of the most, you know, decorated players in English football. For me, I'm in the Gareth Bale, you know, camp. I think it's been amazing for the season. Suarez has scored amazing goals, but we've seen strikers over the years. I would expect that from a season two or two. Arsenal fans. What happened to Robin Van Persie? <laughs> this is someone that has scored he sold us out. Goals. He sold us out. There's no way I'd fight for Robin Van Persie. <laughs> no, no, no. He, 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 he's trying he to say something. the line. We'll he, touch up on that. We'll touch up on that in the next segment. Look, Suarez has consistently done this. Yeah. Since his season in Liverpool, he has consistently dragged Liverpool to where they are today. Let, let, well, some would even say, was he the reason why Kenny Dalglish Walked left away. Liverpool? A it, lot was, it, it was because, because, the yeah. day, because the of him. It was the way he handled the issue of But we can't take it out of Liverpool that both genius, football genius and controversy lie in one man. We cannot take <laughs> away that Luis Suarez is a world-class 
football, a football player. There's no doubt about that. But is he not setting a bad example for football? Young kids that look to footballers, are we condoning that? But the funny thing is that there's also the <laughs> argument that says that football players are not supposed to. They didn't come into the game to be role models. They came into the game to but play they football. Are. But they are. I entirely agree. Are. Yeah. And especially yeah. the work, the charity work the that charity even, work he claims comes, to be, you know, he's involved in. The charity in. work comes after that. We've got a caller from Nigeria <laughs> for what I'm hearing. Hello, caller. What is your name? What would you like to say tonight? Uh, hello, my name is Oni, and I'm calling from Enugu, Nigeria. How are you hello. doing, Oni? What would you like to say? I'm doing great. I, I actually want to comment on the game yesterday, between Chelsea and Liverpool. Yes. Uh, what, what Suarez did, you know, was, uh, sorry to use the name, uh, the word. Don't swear, uh, please, live on TV. Okay, okay. Um, then again, I, I want to say something about uh, Benitez. Yes. Because I don't like the kind of selection, you know, he plays with. Sometimes he makes a bizarre selection. You know, what we, we, were, we were leading 2-1. He didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do to make the player, you know, make us still win the game. Okay. Okay. You know, he has selection problem. We, we are not comfortable with that. Okay. And the way he keeps playing us, you know, he will make us to lose out from the champ, the Champions League sport. I, can I just ask you a quick, quick question? Do you think okay. that Suarez should be sold? Should he leave Liverpool or should he stay at the club? Is he good for Liverpool? Well, I think he should still stay because um, this is not the first time he's biting a player. <laughs> I, I think he doesn't know when he does that. So um, they should find him and then, um, you know, allow him to play his game. He's a fantastic player. Uh, striker. Okay. Right. Thank you very much, Oni from Enugu, for joining us tonight. That's Maybe interesting I can please, uh, but please say something on quickly, the, the, the selection of it. He didn't get the selection wrong. But he got what, what he got wrong, wrong later were on. the changes. Yeah. When you want to kill a game, you need to retain potential. Yeah. And for bringing Mata, those who retain potential out, he kill that game. Okay, and just quickly, do you think we do have some a, our big boss in the office? We've had this discussion. Absolutely. Is it premeditated? Is Suarez premeditating behaving like this before it's, he gets on the pitch? If, if you Very play, quickly. If you play football, you will know that there's nothing premeditated about football. It's you, it's, it's, it's yeah. I, I think it's in the moment. I think it's passion about the game, yeah. and because okay. it's got this flaw, his passion carries him somewhere else. All right, <laughs> then. Thank you very much.